This is part two of my version of a DIY reflow oven. I've done quite a bit of work with the controller now. A little 3D printed thing for it to stand on. So there's the development board that I talked about and we have the Teensy and everything is on sockets. So if I go to the next stage of doing an actual PCB, I can just tick these components off and it's wired up in exactly the same way. This goes to the solid state. That's the um, thermocouple module. And then we have the encoder. This sandwiches between the two boards to hold everything straight. And then that's just fixed onto the base. For the moment, everything is printed as quickly as possible. There's no real care about appearance. I have checked and the screen will actually fit in that section. So I can remove all of that and make a custom part for it to go in. I found my capped on tape. So I've put the probe onto a PCB that I don't really care about so that we can put that inside to measure the temperature. So the red wire is power coming in. The black wire is neutral. So the first thing that it does is it goes into this switch stroke timer, it goes in there, out of there, up to the thermostat, out of the thermostat, into this module, which turns on the upper, the lower, or both of the elements. What I've done is with the solid state relay, I've just got two spade terminals. So we can pop this one off. That's the incoming. Feed that in and then from there go out to this one, which is the, uh, the thermostat switch. So without doing anything at all that's vaguely dangerous, we should be able to wire this up. Now, I've been doing a little bit of testing. So let's get set up for the first test, which is just reading, making sure that this is reading the temperature okay with the PCB inside. And my initial testing is going to be using similar temperatures that we used before, so 60s and 70s just want to see how it works. So um, I will get set up for the next shot. I just had to change the probe um, because I must have damaged the other one with so much messing about. So I've just taken the one off my uh, my thermocouple temperature reader uh, and it seems to be working okay. So let's just do this again. So we're, we're plugged in uh, and these are all just on as normal. I'm just going to put this inside roughly in the middle and I just want to uh, just turn this to like where it says 65 and just make sure that um, we're reading the temperature. So I, I wrote a couple of routines, which are, are still really rough, but um, we can go in and rather than scrolling all the way up through the numbers, we can just select the digits that we want to make a quick change. And then I've got uh, four profiles for the heat up. Stay on, fast, medium, and slow. And they will de determine how long the elements stay on and go off. And then I've also now set up the rough um, reflow profile configuration as well, which is just a similar thing to this, but with four steps. So all we're gonna use this for at the moment it's just to monitor 
what's going on. So we've got a target of 60 and the current temperature inside the oven is 26. So I'm going to put this on to 65. We've got both of the elements working and I've now switched it to stay on. Okay, let's try that again. It wasn't tripped. Okay, so we've got power now. So that was on. Temperature's going up. That was off. So it stays on for a long time. On, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So on for fifteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Off for six seconds that time. So the on and off duration is actually a lot longer than what I've programmed in. So we're getting up to 49 at the moment. Although we're not controlling it, we're just about to reach the 60. So we would now be in our drying period. So I've just turned the temperature down on there to see. What happens and it keeps going up. So even though it says 65 on there. We haven't been on for a little while. It's peaked at 76 on the actual circuit board that's inside. So I'm going to turn everything off now. So that's roughly the max temperature. So it should start to slowly cool down. Um, but I, I think it was going to take a while to cool down as well. So if we open the door, how quickly does it drop? It's not bad, it doesn't, it doesn't drop drastically. Okay, I'm going to let that cool all the way down and we will look at connecting up the solid state relay and seeing what happens. So I've let it cool down. It, it took a little while, but that's okay. We want a, a slow cool down. We want to take this one off. That comes, the power comes in to the timer. And then we want to take this one off, which is the output from the thermostat. That just pushes on between the incoming mains and the solid state relay. Then we want to take this one off and connect that to the output of the solid state relay. So I've just, I've just put some shrink wrap over to um, protect against anything hazardous. Okay, so our, our thermocouple is inside. Our solid state relay is configured to work on that function and it's bypassed those two. So now 
we should be able to turn the elements on and off with the solid state relay from that. Okay, Arduino is on, oven is on. At the moment, the elements are switched off. So let's do our normal test of 60. We'll drop that down to 100. And we will do a medium. So I've now switched it on, so both elements are connected. And yep, it's going up. Nothing's caught fire. Bonus. So that's not bad, that's quite a nice gradual heat up. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to maintain. So we're now at our target temperature. But the temperature is just going up. I'm going to turn it off. I need to adjust the um, temperature range of that because it was set to a small range to, to while we was doing the testing at home. So that seems to have been um, way too much heat, too quick. It's gone up to like 96. When it should have been 60. But it worked. So, um, we read the temperature okay, and we were able to control the elements. Nothing caught on fire, and it was really easy to patch in the solid state relay. So I am going to do some more tweaking on the software so that I can set up the on-off periods for the drying, change the temperature range on the graph, and then we will carry on. But uh, I'm happy with that. I think that was a success. Uh, like I say, everything is okay. And, uh, and we got some data. So I will do those tweaks and then we will come back and I will carry on.